Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for this week I have golden leaves. And I know you probably can't really see the design on camera at this moment. But in person it's really gorgeous. And I know I also do a lot of like leaf type uh, designs right now. But it's fall. What else do you associate with fall but with leaves changing? So in a way that's why I do them. And plus, they're really simple and just easy to do, and they turn out really pretty. So with that being said, let's get on into it to see how it's done. Like we always begin, we're going to start off with a base coat to protect our natural nails. So once our base coat is dry, we're going to put down our base color. And for this look, obviously, we're going to put down this nice, rich, dark, chocolatey brown and it's from Pure Ice. See, that's what it looks like. But my bottle has lost the label. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure what it's called. So if I can find it, I will put it down below like I always put m the products that I use. So hopefully I'll be able to find it. If not, I'll find something that's a similar color that you can use. Or, you know, as always, you don't have to use this brown color you can use something else and I know it doesn't look like it on camera but in actual life we're going to need two coats for the full opacity now as for our stamping we're going back to the what's up nails B021 plate which is the fall leaves and, uh, and the different fall things like I've used before. And for this demo, I'm using this image right here. And <laughs> this polish right here. This is the Goldie But Goody from China Glaze. And, uh, hmm, funny story. So, all those times I've been using that polish that I said looked gold in the bottle, but for some reason was turning out silver, was uh, actually my silver polish. I don't know why it was kind of a gold when it separated, but and I didn't think I had a gold until my sister-in-law found this one in my... Um, nail polish collection and I was like I could have used that for the things that I used that other polish for so now I know I have this one and I'll be using this one probably a lot for Christmas and other things but I digress let's get on to the stamping and yes I know this is not a traditional stamping polish but some of you may know and some of you may not know that you can use regular nail polish for stamping as well as long as it is of good pigmentation. And to find out if it's good pigmentation or like if it's good for stamping and stuff like that, you'll just have to trial and error it. Error it. And there it is. I know it's hard to see because it's kind of subtle, but you'll see when it's stamped. Let's go. Now how gorgeous is that? I love how the gold and the brown mix together. It's a perfect combination for fall. Now I'm going to clean up off camera and I'll be back for the final step. Once the stamping is dry, we're going to seal in the golden leaves with a glossy, quick dry top coat. And there's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably hard to see some of the design on camera, but trust me, in person they are stunning. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me know you like my videos. 
Also, if you see a big red subscribe button down below, be sure to hit that so you are subscribed to my channel. And I know there are some new people subscribed to my channel since my last video, so welcome. Turn on my post notifications so you never miss one of my videos. Also, leave a comment down below for what you would like to see next, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!